I'm actually not entirely sure if that was a key or not. Um, but yeah, it looks like now I just I gotta find a window. And now for our feature presentation. Hey everyone, Mix here, and welcome to I'm Counting to Six. Now, in today's game, which was developed by the one and only Emika Games, we play as someone who just got into a car accident, and as he's searching for help, he finds himself in an old abandoned house, and so as he just marches in by curiosity, probably wasn't a really good idea as he uncovers some secrets that will lead him more harm than good. Now, I did not exactly plan on playing this game because I was unaware about this game until today and I saw, you know, it was developed by Emika Games and immediately I had to jump on it because this developer, I really put on a high standard, a high pedestal, um, along with other indie horror developers such as N4BA and Chilla's Art. You know, each of these developers are really now well known in the indie horror game scene, and each, is, each of these developers have really made a name for themselves, creating very original and very unique experiences. Emma G Games, is no exception whatsoever. Uh, what I do remember from playing Emika's games is that they can get pretty loud. The jump scares are very, very sharp. So, fair warning, it's gonna get loud today, guys. It's gonna get loud. That said, I'm very excited and I hope you are too, so let's not waste another minute. And let's get to it. The story is about a small village. At first glance, it is no different from other villages, but something happened in it that changed the lives of everyone involved in the story. Take a look at this and you will see mysteries shrouded in a strange fog. And also the story is about a man who happened to be in that village by accident and who will have to influence the outcome of a mystical event. Interesting. But what does the whole title mean? Of I'm counting to six. I mean, I can imagine maybe it's uh, some sort of children's game like hide and go seek. I don't know. Let's find out. All right, Emika, time to scare the pants off me. You don't belong here. Please help us. How does head hurt? This is loud already, man. I gotta. I gotta lower this a bit. My phone is not working. Here's no signal. I think I drove into the village. It's getting late. I'm going to look around. I need to see oh, where, where what what did, I totally missed that. A um, little bit of frame rate there, uh, but I think we're fine now. I see two houses. Ah, frame rates. My frame rates, guys. Ah, what is happening? Why is that happening? I suppose we go inside the house with the light, right? Yeah. Now I was heading there already. I I know how to play games. Question is, do I want to? Do I want to enter? <laughs> Please help me. I need to call to emergency. Am I not entering? Perhaps there's another entrance? Was that a scream? Yeah, I don't think the game's gonna want me to enter through that. At least I haven't found a way to. Let's see if I could go around it. No, I don't think I can. Book? No. <gasps> we have to protect our children. It wasn't their fault. It was an accident. No, we're not going to touch this witch's body. We're going to pretend we don't, don't know anything. It will be better for all of us. If he finds her, he'll think it was an accident. There's nothing he can do. 
Okay. Do we just keep looking around this uh, creepy ass village? It looks like we can. What's going on here? You know, you would think that that would be the house that we enter, but I guess not. There's probably like another house that's more secluded. Telefono? I hear myself a telefono. What is that creepy ass island out there? Yes. Does not work. What well, goes with that to the left of me? Interesting. Alright. We are following the lights. The lights are clues to uh, uh, progression. And Mika loves those uh, blowing out light bulbs. Light bulbs. Is it someone? Hey, can you help me? Guy? I think he's dead, Jim. I was sitting in a boat on the lake when I saw that the fog had descended on the water. I tried to swim to the shore, but I couldn't see anything. Finally, when I touched the shore, I ran, I rather ran home. In the house, I saw that my wife was frozen like a statue, and my dear children were motionless. I ran out of the house in fright to find at least someone who can help me. God. Oh, hello. Got somebody waiting for us here, a little ferryman. Oh, God, you actually didn't disappear this time. You were just waiting, waiting for me. Ugh. All right. All right. It's going to chase me once I get back on the bridge now, isn't it? Please don't. See a light. Another phone. Voices. Please help us. How? How can I help you? Oh, is anyone here? Doesn't seem that we can enter that place. Oh, I see a little clue. Oh! Oh, hey, that was cool. Can you do that again? Yo. Yeah, uh, that reminds me of Hellblade. Senior Sacrifice. They did something like that. Alright. Just chill out. Teddy Bear. I warned them. Those dirty little kids shouldn't have bullied him and his doll. I told their parents what what's the use if they're the same themselves. They also called me crazy. What's happening? Does it sound like something or is hanging in there? Oh, I can kind of see what's in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a, a body that did something terrible. Can I check in on them? I mean, what's the point? The, the deed's been done. Okay. What is going on over there? A fire? I mean, I guess, but will there be an exchange? 
Because I, I kind of went here for help. Oh. Oh, is this the house? I keep on figuring, like, this is the house, this is the house. I don't even know anymore. All I know is that there's some one burning there, or was someone burning there. More lore. It's all your fault. I haven't done anything wrong to you. My only friend was my doll, but you were laughing at him, laughing at me. You even took a loved one away from me, and I've shown you what it's like. You will live in agony forever, and this will not change in any way. That's super dark. I gotta tell you, that's, uh, that's, that's very dark. And they're all staring at me now. Fantastic. Can I enter thy house? Oh, here we go. We are going inside a house now. This is where the fun begins. The Heart of Darkness. That's a nice little intro that we had there, guys. That's going to turn into somebody. Saying, I'm just saying. Okay, so this game, much like every other Amica game, is a walking sim, so... So we just have to walk back and forth, you know, and play with certain objects, and that's how the game progresses. I, I do not care to see... It. Yes? What am I doing here? I have to leave. Yeah, no sh <laughs> no, no kidding, man. I don't know what me What went in, in your head trying to come inside here, but it's time to leave. Of course not. Someone locked the door from the outside and now we are stuck on he These are bars on all the windows. Need to find another way to get out of here. <gasps> God damn game, jeez. Okay. Um, can I come back through here? Don't like whatever that is, man. It's a crazy old woman. In fact, that model kind of reminds me of uh, Welcome to Kowloon. Which was an incredible piece of horror from last year. Oh, no. No. going on here oh I just magically have a night vision camera fantastic I hate it actually this what the hell was that Fuck is this? Um, is there something that I needed to interact with in here? Because I don't see it. I'm going back out. Uh, guys, I am terrified right now. I'm just like, waiting for the jump scares to happen. It happens so randomly, you know, and... Oh, you're just so unprepared. There's someone upstairs. I need to find a way up to the attic. Maybe there's a window there. Maybe there's a window there. What are you talking about? Oh! Can I just use this? Oh, yeah, I guess I can. Got myself a ladder. I'm so tense. Oh god, so tense. Oh, 
Oh my, more mannequins. shouldn't be here. It's been four weeks since the disappearance. Luca told me that it was the children's fault. He gave me a letter from his mother and he said I had to find out the truth. What truth? What truth do you speak? Was, was that all that I need to interact with here? Oh, we can't climb there. Oh, there's more. One. I lock the doors. Two. I close my eyes. Three. Find a place for yourself. Four. Don't breathe. Five. Feel your heart pounding. Six. Wait. That's the whole thing. You know, that's what the title is. I count to six. Interesting. That's terrifying. The ladder has fallen. Must jump. All right, let's go break our knees. Fine. Oh God! Was she, was she naked? She may have been naked, guys. We may have to do a little bit of censoring as we continue on. This door opened. Oh no! It already was open, wasn't it? This is uh, one of the confusing parts about this kind of a walking simulator game where once you've got like all the doors open it makes it kind of hard to figure out where you need to go next um did i reread this oh maybe i didn't oh okay so you're blocking the way Oh my god. Someone get him a lozenge. What is this? There's a secret door here. There must be keys and a crowbar somewhere. Alright. Keys and a crowbar. I'm guessing we need one, two, three keys. Three keys. Right, let's go find ourselves three keys. Oh, there's something here. To open a lock, use the hints. One lock. Two phone, three key. Uh, what? Unlock, two phone, three key. Okay, so I guess we have to look for the phone. It's right here. Oh, hello! Look what I found! What is this? Oh, it's by the window. It's not a note. I can only, uh, I can only say what I feel to my doll. Luke always listens to me. Luke is my friend. Wait, let's look at this again. Yeah, it's on a windowsill. It's probably, oh, maybe this window. No? Well, the, oh, you opened the door again. And one is inside a dresser. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. There's the loudness. Jeez. And that's not going to be the only time that happens. I know for sure, guys. So be prepared. Oh? Hello? What was that? Oh! Did he, did he just give me a key? I'm actually not entirely sure if that was a key or not. Um, but yeah, it looks like now I just I gotta find a window. <sighs> yeah, 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 having a laugh. Okay, that should be all the keys, I think. 
Oh, but I still need a crowbar, right? The game didn't tell me exactly where the crowbar is. But maybe I don't need it? Oh. I can't go back upstairs. And I can't get through this. Maybe I'm still missing one more thing. But I, I don't know if what that mannequin gave me was... Oh, there it is. Yay! Okay, that should be it. That should... Please. Please. Stressful ass game. Let there be blood? No thank you. What is this place? Oh. Alright, so y'all blocked the way. I don't need to go there now. Uh, I mean, maybe you should. You did say that you shouldn't be here, so maybe you should turn around and just break through the the front door if you can. Or just go through a window. Oh, wait, no, there are bars in the windows. There really is no escape. What? I don't see. Oh, there's a note. Holy hell, that's a long note. Uh, Tikhan. I'll understand you if you're mad at me. I knew that deep down you wanted to have real friends and you missed the live communication with other people. I couldn't let anyone get close to our family, otherwise they would have found out our secret. And what happened to me now would have happened much earlier. You were kind to everyone, but they didn't deserve it. I wanted the best for you. My mother, your grandmother, taught me many things, and she also told uh, me not to trust people because they are afraid of people like me. What the hell is that noise? Oh god, is it eating a bird? It's eating a bird. Okay. Can't go through that. <laughs> Why are we clapping? Why are we clapping? Okay. None of that door. None of the doors are working. What is that? Alright, I guess having a weapon would be... Ha! Handy. Okay, still no way through a door. Oh my god. It's a freaking dummy. Come on, turn on. Huh. Wow, these mannequins are a lot more quote unquote real looking than the ones before. I wonder if there's any meaning to 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 that. What a creepy little doll. Okay, we still have no way to exit there. something that's on. Radio? Help us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the idea. Wow. These many voices are fighting with each other, it seems. Or maybe there's one voice that's like a demon. Us. I locked the doors. Oh. It's going to do the thing. I close my eyes. Let's step on. Three. 
Не дыши. I'm scared. Пять. Чувствуй, как сердце стучит. Шесть. Жди. Am I not supposed to move? It's too quiet. This way, this way, come here. Don't be afraid to come in. Okay. Well, you kind of blocked the. Oh, here we go. I the, <laughs> was that really necessary? <laughs> Couldn't have you just uh pushed it aside? <laughs> That felt so unnecessary. Prisoners. Oh, it's a basement. What is this? Screwdriver? Okay. What do we unscrew? How <laughs> loud! <laughs> Six kids bullied me. They mocked me because I was too kind. Because I'm not like everyone else. They were involved in the murder of my mother. I was able to punish five people. They wanted so much to go home to their mom and dad. I let their parents find the children on my doorstep, but what they saw, they couldn't believe their eyes. Their children were mutil mutilated. Now they're going to suffer, just like me. This is some really dark and scary stuff, man. Did not expect that. Did not expect this. Oh, of course. How was I not able to see this vent? Fantastic. Well, there we go. We're, I feel like we're kind of... What the? Breezing through this... Huh? Okay, we're not supposed to mess with the lighter there. Or the butcher, the cleaver. Uh, lore. Dear son, don't be afraid of death. Death is rebirth. You've done a lot. A new stage has arrived. Let them think they've beaten you. It will destroy them. Good lord. This evil family. This evil child that turned into a murderous psychopath. Uh, so, we're, so we're not going to take the cleaver that might actually help us against demons. Okay. Let's continue on. Oh god, it's gonna come rushing at us. It's gonna come rushing at us. <laughs> Never mind, it's not. Oh god. <clears throat> come on, don't be afraid. Come here. I, I leave now. Do I go now? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's let's get it over with. Let's just tear the band-aid off. It's dancing. It's having a good time. Fantastic. We'll just let it be. Oh god. Oh god. It knows it knows I'm trying to leave. It knows I'm trying to escape. Please. Please, please, please. please. Oh, okay, we're not going that way. We're gonna continue on this way.
Okay, we don't have a... Oh. Well, look at that. <laughs> Just magically found some bolt cutters. How convenient. Found another one. Not entirely sure which door I should go through first. I guess we'll just go through here. Oh god. Lore. I saw what he did to one of us. Was someone who didn't have time to hide. It was terrible. He said that he would return to, uh, return us to our parents only in this form. It was true. Oh. So his goal was to turn into a hideous creature demon. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. He cut out our tongues and sewed up our mouths so we couldn't scream. We wanted he wanted us to play with him. He asked to go home. We asked to go home. Said we were sorry, but he replied that the time would come and the parents would see us again. Was was something scary that just happened and I missed it? I was reading the lore. I'm sorry. Well, it's my fault. I mean, if you're gonna share some lore, you know, don't have a s don't have a scare that. Jesus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going this way again. Oh. It's a Necronomicon. Do not read from the book. I can't move, by the way. Oh, there we go. I need a lighter, a doll, and candles. Okay. A lighter and door and candles. Are these these are candles, yes? Yes, not? What does that say? Oh, I already read that. In order to perform the ritual, take a doll, a book, candles, a lighter. Burn it in the circle, uh, and then burn the house down. Doll, book, candles, lighter. Doll, book, candles, lighter. Doll, book, candles, lighter. There's the lighter. Um, do I ha I have the book already, do I not? Oh, I don't like this. Jeez, the wheeze. <laughs> I, I, I had a feeling it was coming. I had a feeling it was coming. I hope that the... Uh, oh, there's the doll. I hope the upstairs is not unlocked, because if it is, then we're going to be a while. No. So how do we exactly escape with the house catching fire? And <laughs> there's no way out. Oh, because we need those candles, the ones that are not lit, you guys. All right, and I have the book. Yeah, yeah, okay, I have the book. Holy. You're welcome. I cannot You have no idea what you have done. Let's get out of here. I need gasoline. I'll burn this house down. Okay, is there gasoline in this room also? I don't think there is. Alright. I wonder then... Well, I feel like I'm walking slower than usual. There we go. Now, it said I have no idea what I've done. Yeah, I mean, I have kind of, I kind of have an idea. I think I've uh, unleashed the bad spirits, the bad ghosts, the bad demons. Through here. We'll peep this area once again. There it is. It's empty? Well, shoot. What do we do about that, y'all? What are we supposed to do about that?
I mean, that was really our only source, right? Where are we supposed to find gasoline now? Is it still empty up here? I mean, is it still locked? It's still locked. Oh, there we go. It's freaking like, where's Waldo here? We're burning the house down. And with us in it. Did we make it outside somehow? <laughs> Wait, how did we end up outside? I'm counting to six. What the? I'm so confused. How did we end up back outside? We could have done this earlier, but we wanted to stay? I don't know. Oh, it's my car. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do. We didn't find any help exactly. Oh, little cute Kia. Little, little cute Kia. <laughs> There's a telephone connection. Oh, yay. Hello? Rescue service? What happened to you? Hello? I see a house burning in an abandoned village. Call the fire department. I'll explain where I am now. I recently watched a blogger. He said that he did not believe in anything paranormal and was in houses where, according to eyewitnesses, something was happening. But he didn't find any evidence until one day he arrived in an abandoned pioneer camp. To be honest, I didn't believe him. I thought that everything he filmed was staged. But now, after everything I've seen and experienced, I realize that the world is not as simple as it seems. And we are not alone. Entities are always nearby. And until you see it for yourself, you won't believe it. I do not know why I decided on this ritual. I wanted to run, but something inside me demanded to put an end to all of this. As a result, I realized that I was in this cursed place for a reason. But I have no idea what lies ahead of me. Cool! That's a cool little story right there, man. I mean, a nice, short, and sweet. It took me about 48, 50 minutes right there. But uh, there you guys have it. That was I Am Counting to Six. And it's, again, pretty much what I would expect from Emika Games. If you're not familiar with Emika Games, you know, I'll definitely leave a link to their... Um, their not only their game page where you could find this game but also just to their profile you could see their list of other games that again really have that signature signature style and um there were definitely a lot of uh, signature traits that this had that i was like yep that's definitely emica games such as the loud jump scares and just like certain little uh nuances you know like the light bulbs flickering and then exploding like it was a freaking grenade and of course the creature you know emica games always has to have a creature um which uh, sure you know some people could say well you know this is just a copy of his other games but um one would argue that you know as long as you're telling um a unique story that is different from the ones previous then yeah it's still you know a pretty original and creative experience and I thought that this was that you know and I've played uh, I haven't played all of Emica's games games <laughs> but I played a fair amount and 
I think that this game, it may not be my favorite out of all of them. I think my favorite still is Locked Up. But this one, you know, it's really good just to like, uh, kind of like a starter course. Not exactly the main entree, but a nice appetizer to fill you just enough for you to want more. That said, let me know in the comments what you thought of today's experience. Are you familiar with Emika's games? Have you played uh, any one of their games or is this your first time? Let me know in the comments and let me know what you think. Um, also, if you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing as well as ring the bell so that you're notified for the next video, which I promise this time it's going to be the continuation of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Again, I didn't, uh, I didn't expect it to play this game today. It was going to be Hellblade, but I saw this and I had to jump on you guys. So bear with me there. The continuation of Hellblade will be coming and in the next video um, and that is going to be it for today again I want to thank you all so much again for watching my name is MigsXL and I will see you in the next video